Well, welcome to News Game Plus. I'm Dumi, and I'm here with, uh, well, a man who today got uh, the same number of delegates as uh, Elizabeth Warren and uh, Joe Biden. You got plus yeah. you producer and presidential candidate Jason O'Callaghan. <laughs> I mean, we weren't going to do politics, were we? <laughs> oh, but, you know, I trying to think that's all right. <laughs> worst, if worst comes to, if I ever want to just win an, an election for free, all I'm just going to do is change my surname to Buttigieg, and then I'll just be handed it. Like I can just claim I won. Doesn't matter what the counts are. Doesn't matter anything else. I will just say I won, and that is all that will matter. Well, it's fair to say I think these podcasts are Bernie Bros. <laughs> Man, it's, it's only, I won't even entertain the there notion goes, that goes, anyone else. You, else. Ship you. Uh, you couldn't help yourself. And yeah. you had to trigger you briefly as well. So, all right, cool. Uh, well, um, uh, let's do the uh, headline items. And uh, first one up, Division 2. Well, we discussed this last week mm. about, uh, I think it was last week, we talking about DLC and how mm. DLC should be an ongoing thing and should enable uh, seasons. And, and yes, there are some games that mm. do it. And the newest one to do that is Division 2. Yes. Which is now adding seasons. And now I think New York, the first game was in New York, wasn't it? First game was in New York. Second one was DC, York. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. back in New York. Um, so, um, yeah, so so this idea, uh, hopefully it catches on more. Destiny 2 does it as well. Um, I think, and I think and obviously those, the online ones do it. I, I, I think online. for the right games, it's fine. For the, the kind of games that they are, I think it's fine. Call of Duty should do it. There's a bunch of games that should do it. But there are games that they try and shoehorn it into that... They do it for um, for monetizing. Yeah. But, but I think extending extending the life of a really good AAA game... Because really, mm. these days, a lot of indie games are really good quality. Yep. Right? And so your AAA game, extending the life and having this season concept, I'm a big fan of. And I think it just means that you can keep playing that game. They don't have to redevelop the original one yeah. over and over again. They can and they can change enough in it. Like I mean, really, see, most of the engines are modifiable enough that if they want to change a full dynamic or a mechanic, they can. It's not a, it's not a hard thing. Well, to the do. money's in the, the the real expense is in the engine. Yeah, great. And and these these AAA dev uh, and publishers or whoever has it. You know, you got your Frostbite and, mm. and Dawn Engine, which is the one that's used on Deus Ex. Um, they're, they're massive investments. So, yeah. so if you can reuse them, that's good. And, and if you've got all the assets and all the all the stuff set up, then yes, adding a season and adding a new, even a new campaign mm. is not be that hard. Yeah, much yeah. easier. Yeah, I, I think because, you know, we did a thing on Game Pass uh, last week for the show. One of the biggest things with Game Pass, it's got the OG version of a lot of games and then you can buy the DLC on top of. Mm. So I get to play the original experience and obviously they're going to make very few sales in the original experience, but if they make a, a DLC sale, it was still worth having it there because you know you make most of your money, you make half your money on the first two weeks, you make half again over that next two weeks, and then the rest of that is your lifetime well, sales. I was going to say, is the reason you can do the season concept now is that a thing because we don't have the magazine hype cycle? Because yes and no. I think yeah. I think it's also the propensity for internet because like you know they've they've gone they've taken the piss with Stadia. But the idea of, oh, is a, is a 20 gig patch you got to download or a 10 gig patch yeah. it's going to be your next season of content. People are okay with that. People are way more okay with that. It's more feasible now than it was 10 years ago. But, but I mean, you can now go to any game and just watch it on Twitch or YouTube, yeah. right? So so this timeliness isn't a thing. We, we get, we, we're get approaching a point where, yeah. where the actual time doesn't matter. And no. there was talk a, a while ago, or I read, of, of synchronising... Um, if you're doing a game which has any social interaction, synchronising the clock of, say, tweets and that mm. with the actual date the game came out so that when you're playing it, you can actually yeah. be virtually real time, which I thought was a really cool idea. I don't think it went anywhere. Mm. But this idea that we don't have now this monthly or se- even E3's gone, so yeah. this seasonal sort of hype cycle, and now it's pretty much you can just go onto YouTube and Twitch, do yeah. whatever you want, which means a game that's popular can keep being popular without yeah. needing the coverage. And Rainbow Six is the reverse of that. The game came out. It was always a good game, but it just had no hype, no anything. And it's the ongoing DLC and ongoing season passes that have allowed it to um, revitalise itself. And they've only, after the third season, they've only started charging for content. Do you oh, know really? what I mean? Like, yeah, because they were like... Bring it back, bring it back. Yeah, it's all good. And then they've got season three. And like, all right, now we've actually got a competitive scene. And money that comes from the season pass will go into the competitive scene, which is similar to what Dota does. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, Des- um, Des- Division 2's now done it. Uh, Division mm. 2's a fun game. I've been playing a lot of that. Mm. Um, so, already back up to... Oh, I'm already up to the uh, Black Tusk levels. I don't know if anyone's got there, you know. Yeah. They're a pain in the ass. But I uh, already finished the main campaign. A good game. I'm really glad... A quality AAA game is doing mm. that to extend the life cycle. I think there's games in the past that would have really benefited from it. So I hope it's something we keep doing more as we go. And that way, the game can just keep being popular for longer period yeah. of time. I'll miss you. Um, now, the second one I've got here yeah, on the brief. 
<laughs> brief items is uh, Intel Extreme Masters is moving or oh, to be part of the Melbourne Esports Open. Yes. Uh, now, I'm new, surprised new it didn't happen last year. Yeah, stuff with MS uh, through Couch Warriors mainly. Yeah. So yeah, so for MEO, so we do the fighting game area for them, and I believe that's going ahead again this year. But uh, they, um, I'm not sure what those conversations are at yet. But the problem we faced was whether we <clears> want to admit it or not. BAM lost out a little bit because of IEM because people only had one big event they go to, okay. and IEM lost out because of BAM. So. Um, I think the move, one of us had to move and we didn't have anywhere to go. Like if we went to September, it would have been clashing with the Sydney major and the Sydney major isn't run by us. So we couldn't do that. Close to PAX as well, wouldn't it? Correct. And so, Close to, yeah, yeah. So that, so now that's a month and a half before PAX. Cause wasn't that the, um, problem at one point EBX that I had, it was on about the same time as PAX and people yes. were like, I can within a week of within, each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Within a month or two, I can go to one. Yeah. Cause I mean, a lot of gamers, they don't have. They're not completely cashed yeah. up. What's the appeal though? Like I mentioned PAX uh, and EB Expo is gone, but now EB Expo is the mm. corner of PAX. PAX is in Melbourne. The Esports Open is in Melbourne. The Intel Extreme Masters has just moved. What's the appeal in Melbourne? Because Sydney normally, Sydney has all the little journo crowd and the little clip Cheaper venue. Okay, it's it, logistics. So let, let's... It's venues? This is my, venues are cheaper, straight up. State government will actually invest in it because we have Labor State government. So if you go to them and say, hey, we have this great idea. Can you help us cover venue costs? They'll be fine. We'll pay for venue, but we get to put our slap our name but on it. But you can donate $3,000 to the Liberal Party. Oh, don't even, up. don't okay. even. Okay. <laughs> um, it's ease of access. So we've got all the trams. We've got, like, even Melbourne Olympic Park, well, a pain in the ass. It's not a pain in the ass because you get off at Flinders and it's a 15-minute oh, getting, getting anywhere in Sydney is a it's nightmare. I, I, don't know, so, I don't know how they don't have 10,000 people a year die on the road. I think, I think, so horrible. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, um, Intellectual Master as well was in Kudos Arena, which is like, yeah, it, it, Sydney's fucked. Darling Harbour's fucked, which is where, and Circular Key, which is where the convention centre is. Yep. Uh, it's expensive. There's no nightlife, so you can't do after parties. You can't do anything like that. Like they've removed the um, lockout laws it's now, lockout but thing, too yeah. fucking late. Like too fucking late. Mm. Um, and there's no nightlife there. Like last time we went up for Mad Fest, um, we all we luckily enough we had a friend who ran one of the only bars that's open until two in the morning. And me, Sefi, and the crew was, went there and like drank there for a while. But otherwise, there was nowhere in Melbourne on a Sunday night after an event like. Worst comes that you always end up at the Exford. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's plenty of places you can go to. It's just, yeah. So Melbourne's better than Sydney. That's what I'm hearing. It's always been. Yeah, I just, I I just think it's too. official now. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah Bear <laughs> Killian, mate. Like, you know, when she's not killing koala, she's killing nightlife. So uh, Hashtag koala killer. Yeah, hashtag uh, koala killer. friendly Geordies. So there you go. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, um, next next one of the short items. Mm. <laughs> well, that was, well that was shorter. That was, that was only a minute <laughs> no, or so, yeah. Uh, stop. We need a chest thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anthem is... Okay, this can be real short. Anthem's getting a long-term redesign. Uh, why? What? Anthem? <laughs> why on it? Why? I, I'm curious when I read this. Why are they so desperate to make Anthem a thing? Because they've put so much stuff... They have nothing like. else that well, they It's their destiny. It's their division. It's their long-term ongoing thing. Um, and they make they still make money from it, but like do they? Yeah. What from two dollar sales at JB? Because uh, like, uh, yeah. once they get you in the ecosystem, you're in the ecosystem. The problem becomes like yeah. So they've got um so they're desperate to get everybody to the store. Yeah, pretty much. And so I don't know. I I think they'll do it. They'll push it hard. It doesn't matter. I mean the the two worst the two most overrated devs in basically all of devdom are. Blizzard and, Bethes- uh, Blizzard and uh, Bioware have been for years. Naughty dog like, now. Anyway, um, but, but definitely those two. Comment. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely those two have always been for the last like ten, fifteen years. Of their existence have been garb, and I don't understand mm. why they get as much love as they do. Yeah, so basically, they're just trying to keep it alive because they need a they need game some. with a skill yep. front for people to buy. Well, I don't. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't think the gaming community gives a shit about Anthem. I yeah, think, that's pretty uh, true. I think, I think it's not even that awful a game to play. It's just there's no incentive to play it. You know, I'm not playing because I've seen it for like two dollars. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Then I've got if it's if it's real crap, I've still got a replacement uh, coaster. Like, yeah, uh, no a case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. The Amorites <laughs> Amorites are expensive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. All right, uh, next one. Uh, this is just be, uh, included this because uh, my Sega fanboyishness. Although I am conflicted because it's a PlayStation story. So, is, yeah. but let's go with it. Space Channel Five VR is coming to the the PlayStation. VR, uh, we and you use your move controllers and you yes. do the dancing. St- do your dancing stuff. 
with um, which I just did and knocked something off. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, in the game, instead of doing the up, 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 down, 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 and trying yeah, to remember choo, that, choo, playing yeah. basically playing Simon. Remember Simon? Yeah. Yeah, um, so now you, now you actually have to do it. Yeah, I, 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 cool I, I lost Space Channel 5. I, it always upset me that there was never another real one, but, you know, shit happens, unfortunately. Um, and, yeah, I, like... Oh, it's a cute game. It uh, is. I always love Space Channel 5. I mean, that was, that was peak Sega. Like, that, like Sega, mm. if nothing else, always at least gave something a go. You can complain about them all you want, but they always tried something. And whether it worked or not, that's a different conversation. Well, their, their last days... Um, on the Dreamcast, they were so incredibly inventive. Yep. They were, um, was, but look, I, I thought the idea of doing Space Channel 5 actually with movements instead of just pressing yeah. it up, left, 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 right. Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, cute game. Anybody that, uh, I suppose, how, who would you recommend it to? Anyone that, anyone that likes it? If you like rhythm, rhythm games, games, if you like, yeah, like it's cute. It's DJR Japanese. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, game arts, it'll be cool. A bit of Beat Saber, I'd say, yeah. That's it. Well, that's on PlayStation, so I won't see it. <laughs> so, uh, but good to see. Good to all, see. All eight people are in the PlayStation VR system, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, well, if Andrew's listening, uh, there you go. Uh, he's yeah. gone, he'll uh, tell me what it's like, Andrew. Um, but uh, yeah, so, um, and it's the first, but it's actually the first new Space Channel 5 game in 18 years. It would years. be for a very long time. 18 years. There, are, there will be people listening to this, yeah. unless you're the demographics, uh, on, our, on our listeners and, and yeah. probably our watchers. Weren't even born. <laughs> uh, uh, how terrifying is that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I won't say how old I was, but uh, yeah, there you go. All right, next one. Uh, now, this this is a cool one. Yeah, Phil Spencer reckons that Xbox's biggest competitors are Google and Amazon, not Nintendo and Sony. Yeah, because he's paying attention. Like, sorry, like Microsoft is more mm. than that thing. The Xbox brand competes with Nintendo and Sony in that space. Sure, to an extent, but if anything... He's smart enough to realise that gaming content enables people to enter that ecosystem and that they stiff or they stay in that ecosystem. They're finally leveraging the PC advantage, all that kind of stuff. Realistically, on the wider scale, is right. for Because Google wants your documents, they want your emails, they want your entertainment, they want you to watch YouTube, and they mm. want you to like basically live in their ecosystem. Amazon, same thing. Twitch, uh, Amazon Prime, Amazon Web Servers, as you know. Yeah, um, yeah very good products. Yeah, you know what I mean? So... Yes, he's right. That that Microsoft's biggest competitors is that. But you know, Xbox obviously being integrated into Microsoft, then it makes sense what he's saying. But I also think there's a side thing to it, and I think we're both in agreement here that I think he recognises that Sony's about to go through a bad time. It's going to be a bad and Nintendo, time. Nintendo is effectively a partner now. I, they, they, yeah, have, they got Nintendo on side early. They were yeah. smart. They just said, "Cool." Uh, they your, said, you have mobile. That's your yep, thing. Japan's yep. going to be all over. Yeah, that. yeah. We can't, um, we can't crack Japan, but we can yeah, be nice to you. We, if, to if, if we sell a million copies of Cuphead <laughs> through Switch because yep. people want to play that kind of aggressively difficult game in Japan, see also Ori, all those kind of things. Yeah, it was worth the investment. It was worth the time. So basically, saying their competitors are Google and Amazon because of all the other services, mm. but they're not Nintendo and Sony. Uh, Nintendo because they're effectively partners. They're yep. effectively divided up like cartels. Mobile yeah. versus everything else, and uh, Sony because well, Sony does Sony just still, had, like does Sony still uh, do electronics? Rip Sony eventually, like they do cameras, but do they do what else? Do they do still TVs? I think so. Wasn't wasn't all the electrical areas losing tons yeah. of money? The only two that were making money for them was gaming. Just this was a while ago, so that now it's definitely gaming and insurance. Uh, insurance oh, yeah, people I was are getting medical, yeah. but yeah, insurance. Yeah, I knew it was something yeah. not gaming. So the yeah, insurance. Well, that's insuring the, other people's stuff against Sony's assets. What a world. <laughs> well, yeah, as well, anyway, it's, uh, yeah, no, R.O.P. Sony eventually. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. They'll just be an insurance company. How yeah, about that? Coles Insurance or Sony oh, Insurance will be a choice. Oh, anyway. No comment. Yes. Anyway, uh, well, now, next one. Okay, now, this, this, this next quick, quick in air quotes, uh, topic moves on to one I was going to have a bigger discussion of. Now, Sony, again, another Sony story, has uh, filed a patent for an AI, artificial intelligence, mm. That will suggest tips to players that are stuck in games, so which is a cute idea. Yeah. Um, well, now you know when you come back to a game, and this happened with me with mm. Prince of Persia. Right? Prince of Persia on the PS2, I played it. Which is really a fantastic bad. game. Oh, it is, and you can run on the walls. You get like, and, and you get the you get like the, the muscle memory in that going to yeah. play. It. And then I, I I never finished, and I went back. It must be two years or something later. And I just couldn't play it. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know what I was doing. And it happens every so often. You go back to a game, you think, oh, I'll pick it up. You don't want to start again. Yeah. Because I can't be bothered starting games again. I've done, I've done that a few but times in New Vegas. Yeah. yeah. I've done that a few times in New Vegas. I'm like, what was what was my gimmick this time? Oh, I don't know. I'll just start again. I'll just start a new gimmick. Yeah, I can't be bothered. Start. I don't have time to start games over and over again. That's why I'm a big fan yeah. of I, I like cross play, but they need cross save. Yeah. Because yeah. I just don't have the time to do it. I like playing games. 
But you know, a lot more games are doing cross. Work and family as well. Yeah. And I play a lot of games. I mean, but Rockstar will carry a single player progress between last gen and this gen and stuff like that. So yeah, well, all games should do. And in fact, you know, because when you got publishers and the big publishers, if it's a game from them like Electronic Arts mm. or Activision or Ubisoft, they have no excuse not to. I agree. Um, because they've got the infrastructure, and what's it costing them? Like you know, yeah. like anyway. So um. Anyway, so, so yeah, so Sony's done that AI to do that. Activision has done something mm. similar. So if you're stuck in a game, um, it'll it'll basically say, here's some help, yeah. which I think is a, a neat idea, De- depending how, how the AI is, because most things are claimed to be AI uh, not and really, not. Yeah. Uh, it's just uh, algorithm, it's, which isn't the same thing. <laughs> you've seen the results when I've tried to use Amazon's yeah, AI to yeah. parse our, uh, our, our show you, segments. Yeah. <laughs> so it comes up with some bizarre results, and they reckon that's machine learning, whatever. Um, it's basically a bunch of if then else's. Yeah. But, uh, now the um, now the Sony one though uh, their patent does a little bit more. It says it'll also recommend for the player DLC and loot boxes and other of things course, like of that. Of course, of course. So I don't know. Look, that's going to be like annoying ads. Like, oh, we see you. Yeah. You might like this as well. Uh, click here for the Every, store. Everyone loves Clippy, mate. Everyone everyone misses Clippy. Everyone says, you know what Microsoft needs back. The paperclip that won't shut up. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, if you can't turn them off, I will be very angry. I see like, you weren't spending money. Would you like? To yeah, yeah, that? yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's an interesting one. There, so basically, it's only going to use it to try and monetize those times when it won't be when you're stuck. I mean, if you don't yeah, recommend yeah. DLC, and it may be. I mean, okay, if you're in division and you, you've got to a point where you know you, you've uh, got all the strongholds and that, and it goes well. Hey, you may like the the new. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Or, or uh, even if it takes okay, uh, ten thousand people have passed this map in the last month. They'll use this class, or like sixty five percent of them use this class with this weapon. Like you know, that's helpful information. Dota Plus does something similar. Yeah, where it'll go. Most people in your bracket when playing this hero buy these items. But you know, that's all AI is. Now this is something. Look, AI. AI as a concept yeah. isn't that. But I can tell you, AI as is yeah. the stuff I see as a program and the tools that that are out there and the, the solutions and that. AI is basically a statistical analysis at yep. this point. And, and the things that most big players, including Amazon, are trumpeting as AI is basically saying, yes, X percent of people did this. Yeah. You've done that as well. Therefore, you will like what they like. And that's yeah. that's how video and music recommendations start. Uh, and they're always wrong for me. So, yeah. It's... Yeah, well, I'd, let's see. I'm going to go off topic here uh, because, you know, it is a podcast. The... Um, the you know how they collect all that information on us, and Google mm. especially. They say we're collecting all this information for ads. Now, I I reckon that's a lie because I don't know about you, but I post a lot on social yeah. media. You'd be aware of that, and I never get ads about the things I post about. Yeah. I get ads for gout because I'm over fifty, and they yeah. go, "We must have gout." I don't I don't even know what gout is. Yeah, right? you don't drink enough. Right? I got one the other day for another old man thing. Okay, oh. I got an ad for rectal dysfunction. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I'm married, so it doesn't even matter, right? Yeah. So you just wait a second. Just look up that. It's just an easy way to go. Not married doesn't it won't be, won't yeah. be required. So basically, I'm getting ads for things that are simple. I think, I think, uh, you know, I, Megan doesn't mind me saying this. I'm pretty sure Megan said that as soon as she turned to certain age, just started giving her uh, baby yeah. ads. And you go, that's not AI. Yeah. That that is that is that is it's just algorithm, which is a different thing. Yeah, so, well, uh, now, this is my thing. Now, I don't get any ads for things that I am interested in. I will get non-stop pestering banners about stuff I've looked at yeah. on another website. Yeah, yeah. Well done, because I've often bought it and you're still trying to sell yeah, it to yeah. me. Okay, now, they're saying it's AI to cover up for the fact they're just collecting that information and they yeah. want us to think they're doing it for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, all AI is just most, mostly just made up. It's bullshit. Statist- it's, it's all statistics. If anybody is wondering, listening or watching... All AI you'll see right now that's being trumpet is purely just yep. X percent of people did this, you did the same thing, therefore you are assumed to be like those people. Yeah. And that's all it is. Yeah, there's it's, a probability you It's effectively like it. racial yeah. profiling on, on all sorts yeah. of levels. That's sort of the gender profiling, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, class profile. It's effectively that. Yeah. The only um, ones I get now is house ads. Uh, uh, Michael Bloomberg would love it. I clicked on one <laughs> I clicked on one out of interest just to see what local houses are going for. And there were a couple of really good deals, not going to lie. Like I saw a couple that I was like, wow. There must be something really wrong with that because it's really like <laughs> Did considering everything else in the area for that same money is like was there DLC? <laughs> so yeah, DLC plumbing. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Considering like it was a thing, but I, like 
Um, now all I get is house ads, and like the worst thing is they're all auctions because they'll like want to like try and rip you off as much as yeah. they can. Auctions are a scam. Um, okay, well tell me. When you, I know you say when you go to an auction, I went to a lot years ago when I was buying a house. When they pass it in, okay, you had an auction, and they go, oh, it hasn't reached the market value. Isn't what what people wanted to pay in front of you at yeah. the auction market value? <laughs> anyway, keep going. Yeah, I always, yeah. always find that a strange thing. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get market value. No, you did. You actually got the yeah. market was there today. And they offered you this much. Yeah. <laughs> now, keep going with your story, sorry. No, 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 that was, that was my story, yeah. <laughs> I just used to shit me. Yeah. Uh, we, have, well, we have a reach reserve. You go, you know what, you've just made up a number, um, but market value is what the person putting their hand up was prepared to yeah. pay today. Exactly. That the market came to your auction. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, no, nah, people are fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. So, Steffi was saying he gets, um, he installs solar panels and he gets ads for solar panels on his house. Yeah, I've put in solar panels recently, so yeah. I'm waiting to see what my electricity bill is. I've been running the air conditioning non-stop just to, yeah, just to yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> take that sun. If it pays for that, then like it's kind of worse. I don't know. Like it's still. Well, like... I just like the beauty of the sun is now providing yeah. the power to. Yeah, it was a giant not, thermal not nuclear hot. reaction. You know, yes. yeah, yeah, yes, nine hundred thousand uh, kilometers away. Plus, I hope it really annoys uh, some federal politicians. <laughs> so, um, now, uh, where was I with this? Okay. Uh, that was now, the end. I think we got that was the last yes, one. Yes, that was. So now, I, I wouldn't dive shock if the, if the um, recommendations are uh, mostly costumes as well, because that's the big market in China. Um, and Sony have definitely shown that they'll back, been over backwards for that. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, they have actually. So um, now, okay. Now that leads me into... Um, I uh, wanted to have a longer chat about this, uh, and the loot boxes aspect, mm. right? Because I think if you're going to be recommending loot boxes to people, that's a bit obnoxious. Uh, that is absolutely, you know, hey, you should now gamble some Lab money. Lab brokes, yeah. Yeah, it is. And, and you know what? Uh, on YouTube now, gambling ads are getting out of hand. Everybody, we've discussed this in the podcast, everybody knows YouTube is mostly for under 20s, and over 20 you start to tend to be Twitch, if you're, mm. if you're in this crowd, Right. That, and YouTube knows that. YouTube, they can say whatever they want. They know they exactly. Know sure, yeah, 100%. But, um, so now, because we were talking before, they collect this information, pretend it's for ads, but it's really to, to, to know as much as possible. Um, and I saw a funny article the other day that said, uh, uh, Google knows more about you than the CIA does. And I thought, mm, Google is a CIA. Pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now with the, was it, with the loot box. Okay. Now, the video, there's a, the Federal Department of Communications is mm. currently reviewing our classification laws. And the, right. the classification laws were last done in 1995. Yes. Now, I said before, there'll be people who aren't, weren't even born when when the last Space Channel 5 came out, there would definitely be people not born in I was 9, 10 for what it's worth, yeah. You're 10, oh, oh, a bit older than 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about 47. No. So uh, basically, okay, so the, the classification, now 1995, that, that's pre-YouTube, pre- It's pre- it's pre a lot of internet, things, like, things, yeah, right? like, so, so the I have 56k whole, modem in 98, so, uh, that you, was top of line. You were capo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, anyway, so um, but so it's a long time ago. Now, part of the review, they've asked for submissions, and a submission from a mob called the Center for Responsible Technology um, is basically said the video games with gambling features should be banned from children. Yes. I don't think that's controversial, but let's get into what that what that actually means. Um, now, now, video games have always had those gambling style triggers. Yes. So there's always that sort of like the reward. Blizzard, system. Blizzard made a, an empire on them. Yeah, the gamification is a concept, um, but the difference is in the in the past they just wanted you to play more of the yeah. game. They didn't want you to then spend actual real money. Diablo Two is the king of all kind of um, uh, Skinner box games. You know, what I mean, everyone thinks of it. It's like you keep playing, you keep playing those levels, keep playing those levels, keep playing, those, and you'll ro eventually roll the item that you want. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like that's how it worked. So it was like as much as it was, it was using that same Skinner boxing. It was relatively harmless. Do you know what I mean? Because you were still just playing the game. You're still getting enjoyment out of the game. It was the the, yeah. the the basis of the game. Now though, those same odds are then put across into loot boxes. So you pay for your your roll, and sometimes you roll in that point zero six nine percent that's going to get the the ultra rare <clears throat> item. Um, and it, it's funny because it, it takes me back to my YMCA days. So many moons ago, I used to be a video game project officer for YMCA. And even then, my, my boss at the time was pushing hard against it. So he asked me to write up a list, and I did, of games that were suitable for children, what platform yep. they were on, blah, blah, blah. And I had to remove one. Uh, it was 
I want to say it was Mario Kart, one of the Mario games, because he had a slot machine mechanism in it. That's how strict he was on it. Oh, Sonics have always had yeah. slot machines. Casino World. They've yeah. had Casino World since 2. Um, and so, like, yeah, so he, that's how strict he was on it. Now, I think that was an overreaction, but I definitely think it was a reasonable overreaction. Yeah. I don't think it was, oh, my God, like, won't somebody please think of the children? Well, yes, this, in this situation, can somebody please think of the children? That's an argument. Is it training yeah. children to be familiar with gambling? Yes. Now, we played those games. Uh, I'm not actually a big gambler. I don't yeah. know about you. Um, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Or is it the, uh, does, does adding money take it to another level? And I believe adding money Absolutely, it does. It, it, absolutely, it does. I, I think... If you have a game of chance, if you have a game of random thing and it's for fun or like some, you know, whatever, I think that's fine. Um, you know, there's always a random chance that some random bullet in the game is going to be the one that gets you or a sword yeah, swim. It's or, a random... Yeah, that's yeah, stuff in D&D, by that um, nature, D&D is technically gambling, but it's not because you use, you're, you're using a device to show random chance and the worst chance that you can roll is 1 in 20. And if you, you don't I mean? do that, the game's not very interesting. Agreed. So. And so, yeah, and so I think there are like a lot of RPGs use RNG mechanics... Yeah. But I don't think that's the same as saying loot boxing and all those things, which are a, a modern scourge. And, you know, the amount of parents I'd have who'd ask me to help them set up parental controls and all that kind of stuff. And I, I'd made up a, a guide for every system that was passed out to all of our parents, basically how to set up parental controls, because so many of them would come to me and be like, he just keeps buying X credit, or he just keeps buying... And this was pre-Fortnite, too. Yeah. So this was pre-The Big Boy, because... If well, nothing Fortnite, else, Fortnite's gambling. For all the shit, yeah, for all the shit I want to give, Fortnite is built. Is, like, you just built that randomness towards yeah. the end um, is built to have you addicted to it, and, and people yeah. overlook that because they it's mm. it's presented in a, a way that doesn't seem threatening. But Fortnite is yeah. absolutely might as well be a pokey. For all the shit I give Minecraft, it for nothing. If nothing else, it was a complete product. You paid your thirty dollars once or whatever yep. it was, and you could play Minecraft for as much or as little as you want. And to me, that is a fair. Trade for somebody's art. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Like, a hundred percent, I'm on, I'm fine with that. It is that. It is as soon as you start going, you know, loot boxes and all that. You start to train people that to not only minimise the the thought process around gambling. And Australia are already pretty bad gamblers. As far as per capita basis, I think it's us and the Japanese, one and two, in the world. And I, I would, I, if I'm wrong, I won't be far off wrong. Like, yeah. it would be pretty close to that. The Japanese. I mean, you've been there, pachinko parlors. Ding, ding, yep. ding, 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 like, and they'll put hundreds of dollars in. It's the same as pokies here. You know what I mean? And well, pokies are video games, and they have people don't realize to play pokey. Old people have the manipulation and the psychology yeah. that went into making the pokies, and they are physically skinner boxes. They're thing. skinner boxes, yeah. and 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 that that's yeah. like that is the thing because you're using people's inability to figure out old people the go rate. buy video games. You'll pay once, yeah. and you won't blow your life savings or your kids in here. I remember uh, house, one of play games. One of the cases I had at YMCA was someone came in and they said. You know, blah, 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 I'm worried about my son. And I knew the parents, like I knew the, the grandfather had picked him up previously. And I knew the grandma was a real problem. And I suggested to him, I said, how about this? On the Wii, on the PS3, all these things, there are straight up casino games. Buy them. It's like, what's yeah, just buy them. Yeah. And like, and it didn't stop her, but it was, she was better about it. She would still go for that, because that, that is the one thing I'll say. Gambling, if anything, is better than loot boxes because you have a chance of walking away with money in gambling. Mm. Do you know, as horrible as that sounds, there are ways for you to go, here is a way, if I play this smart, I can potentially walk away with something. In video gaming, to do the same, you are getting literally zero value for your money. It's insane to Yeah, me. but if you buy a casino game and there are lots around, then then you are, if you do have that tendency or that mm. addiction, or the ten, if, if you can't help, it's a way of directing it somewhere else. Correct. And and so that's actually, I think it's quite... Cause a, deep, things, a diversion tactic. It's, it's yeah. yeah. If you find yourself addicted to something, uh, the, the first thing you do is find a replacement. Yeah. Because if you just say to yourself, I'm going to stop, I know, so many, stop. I know so many people who are pissheads and now they've channeled that into gambling and it is still probably better for them in that sense. Or they've channeled it into, now they're all about X product. They will only drink, even like kombucha, I've seen someone and all they'll drink is kombucha. Right, fucking. Like, if you have more than two a day, probably. But I mean, is it is it worse than having two, a bottle of whiskey a day? You know uh, what I mean? Well, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it just depends on. And you're right because people find that look for that transference. If you make it easy for them, you offer facilities for them to do it. It's going to be better. Like, and I think the worst, like I said, I think the the biggest problem though is that it just it does teach kids that the laws of probability are, are like are not as stacked against them as they are. And it's not even like it's a fair chance. If it's a 1 in 20 chance, that's a pretty good odd. 1 in 20 is pretty good odds for a lot of gambling, right? You know, most footy is, what, 1 to 2. You know what I mean? Like, you'll, you'll be mm -hmm. playing like, you know, oh, it's, it's, 
It's Hawthorne versus fucking I don't know who's about it's Carlton, right? And so Hawthorne yeah, will be uh, better than one or two. Yeah. So yeah, Hawthorne, <laughs> Hawthorne will be like you know two to five odds, and uh, Carlton will be three to one. You know what I mean? Four to you one. See, we've been using gambling terminology talking about gambling, but we have to like <laughs> bit, Australians do yeah, that. We yeah. are massive. Yeah, yeah. We, we, oh yeah, and we and we just don't realize. I mean, the, the horse industry, the three biggest places for the horse industry is still probably us. Ireland, Ireland's always been huge on the horse racing, mm-hmm. and Japan, and that's not including obviously America's got a big scene for it, and all those other yeah. and uh, like Arabian countries and stuff. But I think more than anything, uh, it's just the Arabian princes like pretty horses, so they have millions of dollars they put into pretty horses and they run them in the Melbourne Cup. But the markets for them are still Australia. Japan is huge on them, huge on. Like you know, we have if you go into a TAB, you've got the fake horse races on the wall. You know, yeah, like, yeah. like, but have you seen in like arcades? They'll have them. You know what I mean? They'll have them in fucking arcades. Really? And that, you can't win money out of them. Horse. You need to look on the horse. Yeah, well, that's 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 um. That was what's fun. the game? Yeah, I forget that's that. Ages name. ago, that one. I, I used to do that for workouts at, 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 when I used to work at time zone because yeah, used to be the workout on the thighs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I used to do it back then. I was doing a lot of mountain bike riding and still found it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So. But uh, yeah, now the um, actually, it's interesting because we did mention before with Anthem that they mm. were desperate to keep that game going. So you get into the shop. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, and, and yeah, and, and it is that thing. Like I, I, I'm I, like Dota is free, and yeah, it's cosmetics are the the path where you make money. Sure, and you could argue that that is that, that still has its problems. Sure, because there's no easy way to win skins without like gambling. But there's usually way like there'll usually be an incentive in game, or you can just like on the marketplace buy it from someone. Someone gets it in their role. They want to sell it to you for three bucks. You can buy yeah. it directly from them. Do you know what I mean? Places I've been missing a few of these things. I, and that's what I'm saying is I think yeah. that like a lot of times I'll look at a thing and I'll be like, oh, right, cool, I got my free roll that's included in the thing. I didn't get yeah. the one I wanted. I'll talk to our guys, our local team, and I'll go, yo, yeah. um, have you got the Abaddon skin? That, oh, yeah, I've got it. I've got the, then I'll say, look, I've got this. Do you want to swap? Yeah, yeah, cool, swap it, or they'll just give it to me. Uh, and But then they get dodgy and they stop making it marketable. So there's all, they're always thinking about how... They can make the, the money out of you. And I think to ignore that, like, it's either you're dismissing games too quickly and too, and the influence of them too readily, or uh, there's vested interest who don't want it to be a thing. And I promise you that there's a lot of vested interest who don't want it to be a thing. You've got to remember that the Victorian Responsible Gambling Association is 100% paid for by taxes on gambling. Um, the, oh, my batteries are anyway. Yeah, did you plug it in? Yeah, I'll plug it in. Anyway, um, all right, now, yeah, yeah, Steffi's just pointed out that the game was Final Furlong. Um, ah, Final Furlong, it was yeah. Final Furlong. Yeah, you think not, What? It, that should be working. Yeah, that's right, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, well that's go. right, we'll wrap up soon now. I actually 100% support what the uh, Centre for Responsible Technology is doing. Mm. Um, if you are a, a physical bricks and mortar establishment, you have gambling there, then you have to take big precautions to make sure mm. that under 18 minors do yep. not do not gamble. There are massive penalties. I think that needs to be done for video games as well. And and it's not just parental controls. We need to actually take this seriously. I think it's flown under the radar because mm. people people still think video games are a kids thing. Yep. Like and so they still a social stigma. It. Now this is the, it's a two two th- two parts of this, right? They think it's a kids thing, so they think don't think it's serious. But on the other hand, it's a, they think it's a kids thing, and there's gambling yeah. everywhere in it. So <clears throat> so you've got to you got to look at it seriously and say, well, look. You know, this is this isn't just an industry we should just ignore and let the publishers who can be quite predatory do what yeah. they want. We need to have strict controls. The can, society has expectations about gambling. It has expectations about who can gamble and when, and that needs to be applied to video games as well. And I think it's very important. And I fully support the Centre for Responsible Technology what they're doing. And I do hope there's a change. I don't have a lot of hope for it, but I hope there is. I, I gave presentations at the um, Victorian Responsible Gambling Association, all that kind of stuff. They know. I promise you, they know. It's just a matter of everybody life. does. It's just how much money they can make. Correct. Uh, but we're in a world right now where everybody does only think of the money, and yeah. I think it's about time we stop that. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> so, feel, right. the, feel the burn yeah, yeah it's, it were Bernie Bros yeah. uh, alright cool um, yeah, yeah, alright what have we got coming up um, since we so, podcast will have to wrap up soon because I'm running out of battery um, Sonic movies out tomorrow yes yeah, so I'm seeing it on Saturday <gasps> I'm be seeing it tomorrow I can't wait uh, are you going or are you not yeah yeah yeah. yeah. yeah no, I'm taking the boy he's a big Sonic fan I'm a good parent he's always loved Sonic <laughs> if it's a good movie I may cry I may <laughs> actually I, 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 can't, I cannot wait I hope it's good if it's a bad movie I will cry 
because I want to see I want to see a movie of the standard of Detective Fuck, Pikachu. Funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Detective Pikachu is a great movie. I say to everyone, it's better than it has any right to be. It's fucking dumb. The premise is dumb. Everything's dumb. I think it's better than it's what the Monster good. Hunter movie will be. But that's last oh, week. <laughs> but, let's stop talking about the war. But uh, I hope. Now I did see one of the writers of Final Space, mm. which which I loved, and, and I uh, thought was garbage. So yeah, cool. After well, it's going to be good. He <laughs> actually said that the Sonic movie was it was really really good. So, as long as you said it was better than his case. shit, because he's he, that final space show. I have tried, man. I, I got final into space the, is so good. But you got such bad taste in movies. Yeah, all right, Mr. Pixels. <laughs> um, Pixels are good, except for Adam Sandler <laughs> and Josh Gad. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's I, stars. I guess yeah. So the other things that are coming up as well as Saturday is Catroy's Rambat. So if yep. you are in Melbourne town, you want to play some fighting games. Where well, that's ten bucks at Brunswick Mason Hall Six Davies Street in Brunswick. Do I have to be a Mason to go? You Endu uh, Mahok, you know, and a fine Mahok to your. <laughs> from the Simpsons that's fine uh, give me a stone cutter yeah yeah we <laughs> do um, yep. yeah uh, so that'll be good fun um, and then uh, Mad Fest in Sydney so if you're in Sydney um, and Mad Anime Festival was on the 8th and 9th so pack your bags Sefi because we still got to do it um, in Sydney well then uh, Sefi will come in again it's going to be rags. fucking awful don't worry I'm already aware <laughs> I think we go up a day early there's a big supernatural Japanese supernatural like yokai can you believe Buddy went there because Buddy wanted to be there? I know. Can right? you believe that? Yeah, yeah. He left Hawthorne because he wanted to be yeah, in the Yeah, the cocaine's city. cheaper. It's a bigger port. Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> but, but can you believe he actually wanted to be there? Sure, yeah, he can get it. Yeah, he, he, He's yeah, famous he enough to get, get it free, here. Free chopped up mental stress as quick as he, he can, wanted it. You know he, what I mean? He, Fresh he, Colombian mental stress. He was a big enough name to get it yeah. here as well. I don't know why. Yeah, that's true. Why he, was, he was a big enough name to get it here allegedly three times. Well, yes, and... Yes, and he did take a liking to one of our shows, old, old host. I remember. Well, so. I remember. <laughs> I remember saying to her, "I'm like, I don't, I don't think like I, I, I trust did you say, myself. Take one for the team. No, 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 no. I said, I said, more goals I, tr- I like, girls. I trust myself and I trust my ability to headbutt. But even I think I'd be in trouble. Sure you broke it. your heart though. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, now you're back filming Thursday yes. night, last Thursday night. You filmed yep. the first. Uh, yeah, it's about, chatted film. about Game Pass, chatted about Ring Fit, chatted about a few other things. It's, uh, I know Hussein's yeah. a big fan of Ring Fit. He reckons the best yep. workout he's ever Yeah, so the boys were in love with it. They said it was great. Big I was the us. biggest problem is like it's all cardio, it's all thing. Um, and then it, but we the can't really do weights. Yeah, exactly. And that was what I said. <laughs> like, I said you're lifting your Look, switch. I'm a, yeah, two hundred. <laughs> yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a big monkey. So it's that thing of like I'm glad that there's a cardio option that I can use because yeah, not like you have to use the original Xbox. My, if you're <laughs> <gonna do. laughs> I, I remember there was a warning on the back of the original the Xbox. Controller. Yeah, um, like <laughs> Xbox, <laughs> Xbox can be dangerous if it falls off the things to make sure. And I always imagine people robbing banks with Xboxes. So like the big tough guys had the Xboxes, and the little guys had the shock. Uh, had the, like the GameCube I said with the handle, and they were like, yeah, the, tanks, like, the tanks. Yeah, the, the tanks had the Xboxes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like I mean, I pushed my car today because I couldn't be bothered turning it on because the keys were inside. So I was like. The, the, the kind of lazy I am. Oh, all the way. <laughs> yeah, well, from where from back to prefer where you are. All the way up to where it is now. From like Chad's to here. No, no, not that much, not that bad. But like, I was just, that's the kind of lazy I am. I would rather push a car for like 50 metres than go inside, get the keys, turn it on and do that. That's the kind of lazy I am. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Cool. Well, uh, anyway, uh, sorry for that. You're still filming New Game Still Plus. filming New Game Plus. Um, uh, new Japanese branch will hopefully kick off soon. I won't say much more than that, but I'll just yeah, say okay. that. that and is... also, if you do want to, since uh, since E3 is dead, you want to go take a game show, travel.newgameplus.tv. Yeah. TV. Sign up for the list. Uh, yeah, I'm actually at the point where we're about to start announcing, hopefully, the packages within the next three weeks. Ooh. So, yeah, get involved. If you're interested, I'm going to start doing a bit of a social push. I've done one of these and they're bloody awesome, by the way. So, uh, um, try. yeah, yeah, it should be good. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of all the random videos I've taken together and make a video, I think. So, cool. Yeah. And, uh, what we got, uh, let's go to the new game plus, <coughs> new game plus dot TV, our website, shop. Dot new game plus TV buy stuff like uh, like Jared did yes, a while ago. Loves stuff, his yeah. stuff. It's good merch. Pick it up and it supports us. Keeps us going. Uh, Lets us to crap on like this, which it's is very true. handy. Uh, and uh, what else we got? Uh, at new game plus TV, all one word. Yes, on almost every Facebook, social media YouTube, network. Twitter, Twitch, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah, hop on, call us Bernie Bros, go nuts, have fun. Uh, what else we got? That's it. Uh, Monday night, ten thirty. Yep, same um, as always. Yep, and Channel thirty uh, one and. Yeah, as I say, like still Perth, a few more Adelaide, New Zealand. Still a few more things to announce, but we're all having fun. It's good. Oh, cool. Lots of good games to come out as well. I can't wait. Like next three week, like we're three week countdown, four week countdown to 
uh, that one. Animal Crossing, and I can't wait. Animal Crossing, which has microtransactions. Oh, does it? That's it what we'll find out. Does I read that in Survivor today. No, 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 I but like... Even make any, sorry, no, 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 no. It's a, it's a weird one. That's a weird one. It's like, they've got that on some of their other games. Like, Pokemon Sword and Shield has it, but it's for Pokebank. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, not in-game no. costumey ones. If they're in-game costumey ones, I'm just going to bring up my 3DS and play that again. They'll all be they'll always be costumes because that's what the Chinese buy, and it's all for China. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right, buy the hats. Uh, Sefi just said, hop on shop.newgameplus.tv, buy a hat. The hats are awesome. And buy other stuff too. Uh, and uh, what else? So that's it. I have done Sonic Movies, opens tomorrow. I could be very happy or not happy next podcast. Yeah, it's going to be great. I, could I, be, like, I, yeah. if it's I hope it movie, sucks on that. T- I no, don't want it to suck because no, I want it to actually no. be good. But at the same time, watching you react to a bad Sonic movie would just make my day. No, no, it's bad. No, I, 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 please be good. (laughs) Please. (laughs) If the Sonic movie's bad, I don't know if I could take it. I mean, you know, it's it's like other good video game movies like Super Mario Brothers and Assassin's Creed. Um, um, I've only ever seen... Prince of Persia, Jake Gyllenhaal is Prince of Persia. I've only seen Poker... The Pikachu detective movie, so I'm going to assume all video game movies are really awesome. It did raise the bar. I will say that. Like, it's not. It's not the best. It wasn't thing. hard. No, <laughs> it wasn't the best thing you'll ever see. It was easy. It was trophy, but it was it was a dumb Pikachu movie with Ryan Reynolds as the voice. It was fine. It for what it was. It was exactly what it needed to be. Anyway, but I'm going to see Sonic tomorrow. Please be good. You should uh, see Parasite while you're there. It's a good movie. Uh, oh, I actually want to see that. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty good. Uh, it's all, uh, did you see all the complaints on Amazon? Oh, yeah. About how it's, it's, it's subtitled. Yeah. Oh, why is it fucking dude, English? Dude. Yeah, that yeah, is ca- Kokona Clap. Next. That I've, is maximum Kokona Clap. I have watched enough anime to be used to reading. <laughs> oh, boys <laughs> so, All right, cool. Uh, I said I was going to wrap up about half an hour ago. Yeah, Back that's to right. Castle this time. That's awesome. Let's go. Next, see you all next week. Bye.